the fact that the dual motor um, has such a significant performance improvement in the car, it really improves every element of it from mm -hmm. uh, obviously handling because it's all-wheel drive, um, but even in the handling is better than any other all-wheel drive because we're able to digitally transfer the torque from front to rear. Um, and we're able to increase the top speed of the car, increase the acceleration of the car, and, and actually the, the dual motors also provide redundancy. It's like having a twin engine plane, so even if one of the motors conks out for, for any reason, you can actually just drive on the front one or the rear one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, so that's an added safety feature then? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, a, a safe change improvement. And then the range actually increases because, um, as we were talking about earlier, you can map the efficiency curves of both motor, motors and... Um, and the, the efficiency improvements with the motors overwhelm the, the weight increase. But Elon, um, how, how is this going to, though, burnish the image of Tesla Motors as being eventually a car company that's for the masses, when you're actually introducing a, a car right. that's going to be more expensive? Yeah, the, 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 this, this is not, uh, this particular event is really about sh showcasing what electric cars are capable of. Okay. Um, and, and showing that an electric car can be the highest performance car in the world. In fact, the, the uh, performance version of the, the dual motor uh, has an acceleration, 0 to 60 time, equivalent to one of the, the best supercars ever, which is the McLaren F1. So it goes 0 mm -hmm. to 60 in 3.2 seconds, which will get pretty close to that, although <laughs> we've got four people in the car plus a lot of camera equipment. Um, should we try that? Sure. Okay. Ready? All right. Let's try it. Guys, are you ready? Brace yourself. Are you guys braced? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you see that person step aside? Wow. What did you think when you first experienced this? Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay? Yeah, okay. What did you think? So you it's, on, it's on full autopilot right now. Oh, I'm okay. not touching anything. No hands, no feet, nothing. What technology is in here? It, it's, a, it's a combination of radar, uh, camera with image recognition, and ultrasonic sensors. That's integrated with our maps and real-time traffic. Mm -hmm. And it's really what enables autopilot capabilities, the synthesis of all those four systems. Okay. So when you were just accelerating back there, right? Like, let's say, and you know, you saw that guy. It, it break by itself, by the way. Yeah, I saw, I saw, yeah. and I've seen that a, a few yeah. times. So we saw that person sort of like jump, jump aside, right? When, when he, when he saw you coming. Mm -hmm. So let's say you were accelerating that quickly, and an object flew in your way. What would happen then if you were on autopilot? Would it immediately break on its own? Um, yeah, it, 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 if it detected that there was something that was going to hit the car, mm -hmm. it would do its best to mitigate the impact velocity. Okay. So it would it would break. Uh, now it's always possible. I mean, you can envision a scenario where if you're going, you know, 60 miles down the road and something leaps in front of you, there's no, no there's nothing. nothing you can do I mean, about yeah, it. nothing. Okay. Under any circumstances. Um, so, so it you know it it can't do impossible things, but it can massively improve the safety of where someone, let's say the driver doesn't notice that there's a pedestrian about to cross the road or that there's a car that's come to a stop in front of them. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in driver distraction situations, it could really be a lifesaver.